All right, can y'all hear me? Y'all should be able to hear me. All right, cool. Man, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm getting this thing together, man. Every time I try to do something, <sighs> always some technical difficulties, so, but it's all right. Um, how's everybody doing today? Uh, let me turn down my volume. Hold on. I hear a little echo. Turn down. Turn that down. All right, cool. How's everybody doing today? Levite Apparel is in the house. Yo, what's going on? A little echo. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me get the remote control to this. Second, guys. All right, I'm back. Back. No echo. All right. So I situated the situation that we had situated going on um, yesterday. And um, I'd like to thank everybody for joining me today. Um, Funny story I'm going to tell you guys in a second that happened to me this morning. So what's going on, Hassan? Hassan Rashid, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Where are you at right now? Cool. Take your time. I know how it's like some software. And stuff. You know what's going on with this camera? This camera right here, my um, GH4. This is GH4 and G this is GH4 right here. So this camera right here is um, this is GH4 and that's GH4. So this camera right here is... Um, the HDMI cord on the side is a little bit loose, so I gotta play with it. It's finicky. So that's what's going on with this. I like the way this is looking nice and crisp and clear. I love live streaming. It's one of my favorite things to do. So let me tell you, this A10 Mini Pro right here. My, remember, guys, uh, I think yesterday I live streamed and I had two A10 Minis. I had the A10 Mini Pro and I had the regular A10 Mini. So this morning when I got up, I thought, why do I have two of them? I mean, I was going to save one for backup, but it didn't make, make any sense. So I thought, why not just sell the first one, the original one that I got that, that, don't, that doesn't have the codec processor built inside of it. So woke up, put it on Facebook Marketplace, put it on OfferUp, put it on eBay. And before I could even walk downstairs, I was getting messages on offer up for it. So I bought it back in December um, or when Blackmagic first released it. I bought it, I think it was November sometime, but I got it in December. And I think I paid $295 for it. And I was able to sell it for 400 bucks. <laughs> These Blackmagic 810 minis, guys, if you buy one, <laughs> Especially around this time with everything that's going on, they have equity. <laughs> so I paid $295. I think I paid total $316 with shipping and everything. And I sold it for $400 this morning because you can't get anywhere. Now on Amazon, let me show you guys, see if I can show you guys real fast. But as of this morning, on Amazon, you guys can check this out. Hold up, camera three. On Amazon, picture in picture. All right. On Amazon right now, if you look at ATEM Mini, I think you can get the Pro now. I think the Pro is available. So you can buy the Pro right now, which is the one that I'm streaming on right now. You can buy the Pro for uh, $595 right now. Oh, yeah. If you're going to get it, use my Amazon link. I am an Amazon affiliate. So click the link in the description below and use my link to purchase this device if you're going to buy one. All right, so um, thanks, uh, Levite. Uh, everybody, check out Levite Apparel. Check out his channel. He's doing some cool stuff, showing you some embroidering techniques and things of that nature. But if you go down here to the regular Black Magic ATEM, you see that it's not available. There's no price. Normally, when there's no price available next to the devices, that you know they're all sold out. Um, you might have some third-party companies that are selling them, but for the most part, they're sold out. All right, now. If you want something like the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder, which I have over here, give me a second, take a look at that. Uh, if you want something like the Mini Recorder, right? I actually have, I had three of them. I actually have two Mini Recorders. And what this device does is it takes the signal from that camera, you plug it, plug it in here, and you go out into your computer. This is like one of the first ones they came out with. And 
when I initially got mine, I loved it so much that I got another one and I loved it so much that I got another one on top of that because I was trying to do this right here, the multi-camera shoots with these devices, but I would have had to buy so many different components. But this device right here eliminates all that because you can plug all your cameras, up to four cameras into this one device. All right, so you can do shoots like that, you know what I mean? So um, now I have these listed on OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace. I think I'm selling them for like, 150 each. So if you guys want to buy some Ultra Studio Mini Recorders, they're here. But as you guys can see, if I look on Amazon, let me see Ultra Studio Mini Recorders. I think Amazon has some. I think they're like 145. Here they are. Yeah, 145. They have them on Amazon. But the reason why I have mine for 150 listed is because you're not gonna pay that price on Amazon. You're gonna, after shipping and everything, you're gonna end up paying um, probably like 160. So I have mine listed on OfferUp and on Facebook Marketplace if you guys are in a market for anything like that. So lucky me this morning, I was able to get rid of the old A10 Mini for more than I paid for it. So I made a little bit of money. I want to share that with you guys with Dub Nation. So to let you guys know that we're not like just blowing money all the time here. All right. So um, I want to play a little game with you guys and talk to you guys, try something different on the channel because, you know, we're always trying something different. So I got some uh, video games loaded up. Um, we're going to try. All right. In the comment section, I want you guys to tell me in the comment section, do you want Mortal Kombat or do you want... Street Fighter, what's that for? Street Fighter Ultra? Yeah, Street Fighter 4 Ultra. That's what it says. Uh, let me know which one you guys want me to turn on while I talk to you guys live. Okay, so I see Levit says, damn. That's YouTube for you. Yeah, all these issues. Let me know what you guys want to see. And everybody, as you are in here, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up right now if you haven't hit it already. As you guys see, I'm getting the hang of this thing pretty much, kind of, sort of. Don't have the full hang of it yet, but okay. Jamal says Street Fighter. So we're going to go Street Fighter. That's the first person to respond. So we're going to go Street Fighter. Hold up, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up. Do I have a connection here? All right. Give me a second. I should have took care of this before I signed on, guys. Normally, I have my that plugged into that. Give me a second, guys. Always a technical difficulty here. Always some technical difficulties. Uh, accessibility. So talk to me, guys. Talk to me. Let me know what's going on. So everybody loves Street Fighter. <laughs> I love Street Fighter too, to be honest with you guys. Uh, that was my favorite game, and nobody can beat me in Street Fighter. And if you guys want to test that, Adel Productions on the YouTube, on the um, what's the name network, PlayStation Network, you guys cannot mess with me in Street Fighter. So just forget about it. Which Wi-Fi network do you want to use up in the brown house? Boom. There you go. Give it a second. It's connecting to um, the internet because I just connected back my um, PlayStation 4 to this TV right here. It was disconnected. All right, cool. All right, we, we, we good in the game. Boom. Check in that connection. Boom. Boom, boom. So I'm not signed into my network. Why is that? Give me a second, guys. Let me see something real fast. Why am I not signed in? Yo, every time, every time I uh oh, because it needs to update. Yo, every single time I want to do something with you guys, it's an issue. Every single time, right or wrong, right or wrong. Every time I have something planned, it's an issue. Just smash the like button, guys. So, uh, 
Guys, I'm going to give you guys a tour real fast for those that are interested in embroidering and have not yet visited my store. I'm very, very proud of myself. So you guys can check this out real fast. So this is alanaway.com. As you guys can see right now in the store, just the home page. And a lot of work needs to be done. Got some face masks that you guys can purchase that I purchase, I make right here in house. All right. So I got the all black with the material on there. You guys can hit that up if you'd like. All right. Got the ads on there. I don't mind the ads. That's just, you know, another stream of income there that I put on the site. Okay. We got the embroidery patches, tons and tons of embroidery patches available for you guys to check out. Here's my Iron Man. And you guys always see me make the videos for the embroidery designs. So this is this is the reason why I do this, right? So say for example, somebody buys this patch right here. Let's say they buy this patch right here, right? They buy this patch and they buy this file for $1. Now they want to see what if this thing doesn't stitch out good? You got a video right here that you can watch. You got a video right here that you can watch and stitch along with the video, can't mess it up. So no excuses. What other store, what other store do you know that's gonna do that? What other store do you know that's gonna do that? No store, right? Only A Dub Productions, right? So that's that for uh for that specific thing right there. We got the US Post Service. I gotta improve that design real fast, but the potential in that is crazy because I went to the post office and a lady that works in there asked actually asked me to do that for her. So just giving you guys some ideas that you guys can do to create extra income. So we got the COVID-19, I survived COVID-19 embroidery patch. You guys see me rocking that on a fitted um, sometimes. I'm not on a fitted, on the uh, on the pullover, on the skull cap. Get my picture in picture right there so you guys see me. You guys see that I put that on there. Spider-Man came out really, really dope, really, really nice. Got the king and queen designs, right? We got, what else we got? We got some sports paraphernalia. We got the football, basketball, soccer ball. We got track and field foot for those athletes out there. We got some emojis. What else we got? We got the poop emoji. We got the Pepsi. We got the, um, this PlayStation is taking a long time to update. Sheesh. We got the Christmas presents. We got the Christmas tree. We got the turkey. We got the unicorn for only $1. Can't beat that. You got the Facebook. You got the YouTube play button. I th I'm thinking about buying the brother pound five million. Would it have the same quality as the brother you're using? The brother LB 5000 M is that on, is that on Amazon? If it is, I'm going to check it out right now. Cause I've never heard of that. The brother 5000 M. Let me look on Amazon right now, guys. Let's, let's check out Amazon. I have no idea what that is. Brother 5000 M. Brother 5000 M. What is that? I'm not seeing it. And I typed in exactly what you have. Brother 5000 M. Yeah, uh, I'm not seeing that Brother 5000 M, man. Uh, let me just put in brother 5,000. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. What the machine you're talking about. 5,000 LB LB's pound. All right. Uh, it's not coming up. Don't know what a, is that an embroidery machine? Brother LB 5,000. All right, let me try that. Dude, I think you're probably typing in something wrong or like, as far as embroidery machines is, are concerned. I don't, I've never heard of a 5,000. I've heard of a P800, the SC600, the PE535. I've heard of the um, P1000, 
PE, what is it, 1500, I think, but I don't think it's on here right now. Brother, I think it's a 1500. I don't know, but I've never heard of the uh, of the one that you're talking about. And I've been on Brother's site and everything, so yeah. Sorry about that, sir. I've never heard of that, so I can't I can't really advise you because I've never heard of the one that you're talking about. But if it's an embroidery machine, basically the the brothers' embroidery machines typically all read the same type of files, so it should work. Rebuilding database. Look at this thing. It's still doing stuff, guys. PlayStation takes so long to freaking update. Sheesh. Oh my gosh. So frustrating. Right, let's see if we can get some more Street Fighter action here. Still locked. You know why? Because I'm not logged into my PlayStation Store, maybe? I think that's what it is. I think that's exactly what it is. So, guys, this is Sunday. I mean, it's a Saturday right now, so we're just hanging out. So for those of you guys who want to see embroidery videos and stuff like that, I'm just hanging out with some of the subscribers today. So uh, the Brother LB500M sewing machine. Google it. Okay. Give me a second. You're going to Google it. Google. Brother, uh, LB, 5000, M. Okay. All right. Is this it? Is that it right there? Is this it? It doesn't say it. So you're just buying a sewing machine. You're not buying an embroidery machine. Because sewing machines don't, don't embroider. But this looks like an embroider. Yeah, this is an embroider machine. But I don't know if that's it, man. I, I've never... Brother LB5000. Okay. All right. So I've never used this machine. I've never heard of it. So this is interesting. It says, so beautiful projects from start to finish and um, elegant embroidery embellishments of the brother sewing and embroidery machine. Interesting. So this looks exactly like the PE, the SE600. But I'm not seeing an embroidery foot or anything like that. So, yeah, there's a dude. This is very interesting. I think this might be the same exact machine. This might be the same exact machine. Give me a second, guys. Okay, so <laughs> this is the same exact machine. The SE600 is the same exact machine. Wow. I don't see any different buttons on here. Maybe, am I, am I tripping right here? That's the same machine, right guys? Same exact machine, right? Look, it's the same exact machine, just a different color. Same, just trying to move it over so you guys can see. Look at the buttons, compare the buttons. It's the same exact machine. Nothing is different except the color of the of the machine. It's the same exact thing. So I don't know. You're gonna have to buy that machine and tell us if it's the same machine or not. But it appears to be this exact same machine. So I'm gonna say that yeah. The well, you know what? I wonder if what you have to check is you have to check and make sure that 
it can take it can take designs. It has an SD card insert on the side. It might not have that. So let's see if we can figure that out. So that might be the difference. Can you? Does it have the SD card insert on on a, on the side of it? Stabilizer, scissors, software updates, and more designs. It doesn't say anything about you can put in your own designs. With 103 built-in sewing stitches, 800 built-in embroidery designs, and nine built-in foots. It doesn't say it doesn't say that it has um, the memory card insert on the side, and it doesn't show it in the pictures either. So I'm wondering, is that the difference? Because I'm not seeing anything about it takes the memory card on the side. Oh, it does have the USB. Okay, well, if it has a USB, it's the same exact thing. Uh, where does it say that, though? I don't, I'm not seeing that it says it has a USB. Interesting. It's the same machine, buddy. If it has a USB, it's the same exact machine. All right, so let me uh, situate this PlayStation situation right here. That was very interesting. Redeem library music PlayStation Pro. Free. Boom, 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 boom. Why am I not signed into my account? Just for you, what's hot? I am signed into my account. What's going on here? I'm not understanding why I can't play my game. Not connected to server. Verify your license. Okay. How do I verify my license? I swear to God, this thing is just annoying. This is just annoying. Uh, you know what? We're gonna have to revisit this, guys, because this is this is annoying. So. What? How many people we got in the chat right now? Oh, that's dope. Seven people in the chat and seven thumbs up. So that's 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 really dope. I, I appreciate that support and love. But uh, <laughs> we're gonna play some other games. Everybody wants to see. Everybody wants to play games with me. Um, go over to Alan Wade Games and subscribe to that YouTube channel, and we'll uh, explore that over there. And next time, I promise you guys, I'll be signed into my PlayStation Network so we can play some games. Because as soon as I get off the slot, I'm going to take care of this. But this is annoying right here. Um, like I said, I just connected this. I just connected this back to my uh, back to my TV. So I wasn't prepared for this. This is just on a fly. I wasn't didn't know I was going to do that. But uh, anyway, I just want to tell you all that quick story this morning about what happened. Did make a little, nice little come up off of that uh and i'm excited about that that uh i was i spent i think i spent six six and change on this a10 mini pro and i'm still trying to work out the bells and whistles and all the little small technicalities of of going live with it um i want to do some overlays and some lower thirds and stuff like that so i'm going to work on that in a little while and guys um uh as always man thank you guys for joining me and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as you're watching this if you haven't already guys and we'll talk again i'm gonna start going live a little bit more so that you guys can you know tell me if you have any questions for me that's that's the main reason why i'm doing this if you guys because a lot of times i get questions hey nikki price what's going on if you guys a lot of times you have questions for me and you guys i, I can't get to my comments all the time because it's now starting to get overwhelming since we've grown a little bit, it's starting to get a little bit overwhelming. So this, I'm going to start going live more often so that when you guys have questions like this, kind of like um, what uh, Jamal Smith asked me, like, you know, you guys can have an opportunity to talk to me in person because I do charge for um, consultations. But for every for somebody who can't afford necessarily or doesn't want to pay the consultation fee, then this will be the perfect setting for me to talk to everybody all in one little area so um, I could talk to you guys live. And I do have a consult scheduled for tomorrow morning, um, even though she hasn't paid yet, it's not locked in, but uh, you know, feel free 
if I if I have the answer to your questions, I'll answer them right here. Um, not going to be on a schedule. Um, I've come to the conclusion that me and live stream schedules don't get along. I cannot say I'm going to go live this time every day. It's just not going to work. Um, I've tried it. I said that, that I was going to go live every day while we were in quarantine and it just didn't work out and I didn't do it. So um, I'm not even going to like message you guys like that. And, you know, but just best thing I can tell you is make sure your post notification bell is on so you can be notified every time I drop a video or go live. And that way you guys can jump in with any questions that you have for me. But I hope you guys are enjoying the files. Um, in the embroidery world, the reason why I started doing this is because like I noticed that, and I said it before in another video, all that was available was like flowery type of stuff and like, you know, nothing trendy and hip hoppy and up to date and modern that I would particularly want to stitch out. So that's why I thought like, you know what, I'm going to start making my own designs. And if I'm enjoying making my own designs and I'm enjoying the stuff that I'm making, I know that other people would enjoy it too. So uh, there was a gap. And I'm trying to fill that gap. I don't mind if anybody else starts to make files too. If you guys want to, you know, I don't, you know, I'm not like that. Oh yeah, I want to do another segment to this video too. I wanted to um, shout out um, all the uh, YouTubers that I watched as I um, started YouTubing, as my YouTube journey. Of course, everybody, and maybe not everybody, but most people started off being inspired by Casey Neistat. So shouts out to Casey Neistat. But honing in and getting more in detail about what we're doing now, um, i like to give a shout out to, uh, I think, Big Brando. Shout out to Big Brando. A lot of you guys um, that are on this channel, obviously watch that channel um, or subscribe to that channel or know who I'm talking about. Um, I watched a lot of his videos when I was first getting started with t-shirts and the silhouette cameo. And as a matter of fact, that was the person um, who inspired me to kind of get the silhouette cameo. Like, what was it like two years ago? Damn. It seemed like it was longer than that, but it was only two years ago. That's not that long ago. But anyway, Big Brando was the first person that inspired me to get the silhouette cameo. And I was deciding whether I should go with the silhouette cameo or the um, cricket, cry cut, whatever you call it. And I didn't like the main reason to maybe go with the cameos because I didn't like the fact that the cry cut software was exclusively online. I don't know if they still do it like that now, but as far as I know, you have to log on. You have to have Internet access in order to um, make files or use the interface. Whereas those silhouette cameo, you can use silhouette studio, whether you're online or offline. And I think that's really, really valuable um, because you can work while you're offline. And uh, who else? Let's not forget about Stan Banks. Stan Banks. Uh, I, I started watching Stan Banks a little bit later on when I was already involved with T-shirts. But Stan Banks, his stuff uh, inspired me, too. Um, and I didn't even know that he was in the Philadelphia area. But shouts out to you, Stan Banks. And it's dope when, like, Stan Banks actually reached out to me. And we're supposed to do a collab, maybe. Um when this all this Corona stuff is over. So um, we're in touch on, on, on uh, Instagram. So make sure you follow both of us on Instagram, a productions on Instagram. And um, also big Brando recently started following me on um, Instagram and I follow him too. And a uh, t-shirt chick. I watch her um, and I'm missing one person. Oh, uh, give me a second. Cause I don't want to leave him out. I'm always forgetting his name. Cause he highly influenced me when it come came to the, um, came to the embroidery stuff. Nate Matthews. Nate Matthews. Shouts out to Nate Matthews. I want to give everybody their props that got me involved with t-shirt making. So shouts out to Nate Matthews because um, he really inspired me um, with his videos earlier on when I first, first, first started and when I decided, hey, which embroidery machine should I buy? How do I even do this? Nate Matthews really, really inspired me. So um, shouts out to him. And um, I think that's about it. And I think that's about it. Yeah, I just want to give everybody their props, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times, um, as YouTubers, people inspire us, and we don't, you know, they don't know that they inspired us, and they end up watching our stuff, and I don't want anybody to have any type of 
weird feelings or feel like this is any competition or anything like that. But because all of us are doing the same thing, I like to think the t-shirt community is like, is, is a community. Everybody, like every, the YouTube period is a community. So like, I just want to take the time out to give them their props and tell them thank you for creating content and that inspired me to be and to get to where I am today. So that was greatly, greatly appreciated. And those guys keep on making content. And you guys, you guys in the comments, keep on making content. Levita Apparel is getting his stuff off the ground, made it to 1,000 subscribers real fast. Yeah, T-shirt chick. I ain't forget T-shirt chick. Yeah, man, she's on there. She, uh, you know, she, from, from, the, from the jump, I watched her channel grow, you know. I watched Big Brando grow. Um, Nate um, has several channels. And, of course, um, uh, I always forget people's names, man. A lot of people, you know, uh, but I think like everybody like was addicted. Stan Banks. Yeah, Stan Banks. I think everybody was addicted to um watching like Casey Neistat. He kind of like made everybody want to become like a YouTuber or want to do YouTube. Like I used to just watch his, his content for hours and hours. But now um, I watch a lot of tall guy car reviews. I watch his channel. And um, who else do I watch? Let me know who you guys watch in the comments down below. I watch tall guy car reviews. Who else do I watch? I watch. Um, let me say, gonna run down my subscriber, my subscribe list. I watch uh, Mr. Licks, guy from Dominica, Miss Productions. It's a guy from Dominica in the West Indies. I watch his channel because he keeps me up to date with everything that's going on in my other country. For those who don't know. I have dual citizenship. I'm a citizen of the United States. I was born here in the U.S. in Harlem, New York, but uh, my family's from the islands, West Indies, Dominica, and I was I, I, I have a citizenship to that island too. So I watch his channel to keep me up to date with everything that's going on in the West Indies. That's where my mom, my sister is right now. Um, Graham Steffens. I watch a lot of Graham Steffens because he keeps me inspired. Uh, um, you know what? I could actually show you guys. Boom. I could actually show you guys some, some stuff and who I'm subscribed to and stuff like that. A few of the people. Boom. I can unplug this one right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Yeah. Don't want to do that. Unplug the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. All right. So... Plug this one up right here. Boom. And if we switch over to number three, uh, you see Tall Guy Car Reviews. I'm subscribed to his channel. There's Graham Stephan right there. All right. Shout out to him. Miss Productions, of course. Subscribe, subscribe to him. That's Dominican Vlog I was telling you guys about. All right. And here we go with uh, Will Motivation. I'm subscribed to his channel. Watch his content. Kevin. Kevin Edwards, good brother, uh, into real estate, does a lot of real estate stuff. I'm subscribed to his channel. Um, who else? There's Stan Banks right there. Subscribe to his channel. Shouts out to you, Stan Banks. I appreciate you. Um, Black Magic, they do all the cool technology that I'm playing with right now. Tavarish, um, I watch some of his stuff. I, I used to watch a lot of stuff when he was building his first Lamborghini, but now not so much. Um, Photo Joseph, I like his stuff. He's a techno geek. I, I love all his stuff. It's pretty cool if you're into that stuff. Dr. Boyce Watkins, of course. Shouts out to Dr. Boyce Watkins in the house. Um, who else? Uh, Richard Fame always talks about money and motivation and stuff like that. I watch a lot of people that like motivate me. You know what I mean? Omi the Hellcat. Omi the Hellcat, of course. Philly stand up. Omi is, 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 is the boy, the legend in Philly already. Um, TJ Millionaire, that's he's a guy that hangs out with, um, or I should say, maybe it's the other way around, tall guy car reviews. They like um, hang out with each other. Um, Black Financial Channel, I'm subscribed to that. Reason and Levite, of course. You guys check out Levite's channel. Um, JMC Rides, he's cool. Curtis, I've always supported him. Oh, YC Imaging been subscribed to YC Imaging for a long time, ever since he had a little bit of subscribers. All right. Uh, Flash Film Academy, cool guy. He talks some, some good technical, some good tech stuff. Um, Love and Slim, that's um, 
Tall Guy Carvey, he's his girlfriend's channel. Strad Man, Strad Man, I watch his channel sometimes. Um, living with Mozzie, I support this young guy right here. He does stuff similar to Tall Guy Carvey's Minority Mindset, of course. Peter McKinnon, sometimes I watch some of his stuff. And there's more channels that I'm subscribed to, guys. There's more channel, way more than that. But um, those are just some of the YouTubers that I watch. You guys can tell me who you guys. Max Maxwell. Um, yeah, I got a, I got. I think I'm subscribed to him actually, but um, it didn't show up. Yeah, I think I am subscribed to this channel. Uh, shouts out to Being with Bells. Oh, TikTok Customs. This guy right here. He's another guy, believe it or not, who um showed me a lot of stuff when I first started off with sewing. I remember he had like only like two thousand, three thousand subscribers, and his channel just recently started blowing up. So. Um, yeah, he was the first, he, he, um, I think he has a brother, uh, S E five something or whatever, but he does some cool designs on his channel It's being with bells right there. If you're into makeup, there's my son's channel, Alan Northern. If you guys want to find some tips and tricks and stuff like that, he just made his thousand subscribers, but he needs his 4,000 watch time hours to become monetized. So if you guys want to check that out, check out my son's channel right there. He, if you're into screen writing and stuff like that, then Hey. He's your guy. Um, Reezy Rails. A lot of people. Of course, Marcus Brownlee. Of course, everybody subscribed to MKBHD. Um, Big Brando, right? Never deny me. I don't have my picture in picture up my bad, guys. So, um, yeah, man. Uh, there's Nate Matthews right there. His channel, of course, like I said, inspired me. He's doing a lot of face masks and a lot of embroidery stuff, so you guys could check that out. Um, JD Vlogs. Casey Nyset, of course. Oh, Max Maxwell. See, told you guys I'm subscribed to Max Maxwell. He's good. He's thorough. Um, and, you know, uh, Roberto Blake. I haven't seen Roberto upgrade, up, upload something in a while. But, oh, three days ago. See, sometimes I don't get my notifications. Will Smith, of course. Rob Beats. Super Dell. Be the Difference Clothing. Nick Nim, Nimmin. Um, there's T-shirt chick right there. G3 Nation. Kent's Creations. Look. Look, a lot of people, man. Jake Paul is my other channel right there. Alan Wade. All the people that I'm subscribed to, you guys could check them, those people out. You know I mean, it's, I think that typically people don't do videos like this and give other YouTubers their shots out and their just dues, especially if they're information, if they were um, inspired by them. But you guys see all the people I watch and they're the reason why, you know, I'm kind of like do the content stuff that I do because I've. Whether you know it or not, oh, Passport Heavy, this channel is dope right here. They don't do as many videos as often as I like, but it's still a dope channel to check out if you like to travel. Um, but you're you're inspired by the stuff that you watch indirectly. Like you might create something, you might look at it and be like, yo, that's dope. I created it. But subconsciously, you were inf you might have been influenced from something that you've seen before. You just it wasn't your intention that you were shooting in that method and it wasn't your intention that you were shooting it that way. But in most cases you were inspired because of something that's in your subconscious mind, which is, which is interesting. So all these people that I watch may or may not have influenced me in some, some, some way, shape or form. Okay. Let's not forget about Reyes. Reyes, the entrepreneur. And um, yeah, a lot of other channels, man. Um, Infinite waters, dope channel. Video Creators, dope channel. DJ TLM, dope channel. Whole bunch of Daryl E's, dope channel. So, guys, I'm going to cut out of here, guys. Just want to talk to you guys hang out for a little while. Um, like I said, I'm going to be going live a little bit more, playing with these gadgets that we have right now. Got to get full use out of the A10 Mini Pro. Going to be doing some tips and tricks and some lower thirds and some overlays and some music playing in the background and all that. Just, just trying to play with it for now and get the hang of it, you know? So... Yeah. And what's dope right now is I have on my screen right here. You could actually see it. Um, you can't see it because I don't have an input. To, yeah, you can't see it. <laughs> if I had a camera hooked up. Yeah. I'll show you guys another time. You, pro you, you probably saw it on yesterday's uh, live stream. But as you guys see, I have the audio issue all straightened out. So I'd like to thank you guys for hanging out with me for a little while. We've been on for about 45 minutes and um, had a good time talking to you guys, hanging out with you guys. And I hope we can always keep it like this. And 
It's okay, Danita. Danita Adams said, sorry, I'm late. It's all right. Why are you sorry? Um, I watch you keep up the uh, technology. Yeah, 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 yeah. I try to keep everybody updated with everything that I'm using. Um, the Levite. I just bought a brother SE 1900. Is there a hat hoop um, that works with the machine? For the SE 1900, I think there is a hat hoop, but unfortunately, it's not the hat hoop that I would prefer to use because the embroidery machines that have the hat hoops that I like are the industrial um, embroidery machines that have the hat hoop that hat hoops that curve so that you can mount the hat onto the hat hoop and still keep it keep it curved. Those like the SE 600 and the SE 1900 the hat hoops that hook onto those, you have to flatten out the hat. These fitted hats right here, if you flatten it out, my my opinion is if you flatten out a fitted hat or a, even a snapback hat, like it has a certain shape. And if you flatten it out, you kind of ruin the hat because it gets these creases on the side. And I hate when the hats get creased on the side like this. I don't know if you guys know, like the fitted hats get a little crease. I, I can't stand that. I think once it gets that, like you might as well just throw your hat away or something like that. But um, it does have for those other types of hats that are like um, uh, the the cloth hats, like you can lay those flat and they can get all types of creases and it doesn't matter. So yeah, it has hat, a hat hoop, but it's flat and you got to lay it out flat and um, just look on Amazon. As a matter of fact, let's see um, if I can find something for you real fast on Amazon. Um, uh Brothers hat hoop. Yeah. So what's this? Camera three. Picture in picture. So right here you see the brothers hat hoop. Uh and you have the SE19. SE19. Let me see which one this fits. All right. And I'm looking at my phone real fast. To check you guys' comments while we're doing this. One moment. Boom. Yark, you already know. Oh my gosh. No, she didn't. <laughs> yeah, but um uh it doesn't look like this one fits that machine, but you can go on Amazon and you can check and you can find the one if it does have one for your specific machine. You know, but I think it does, but I don't have that machine. So obviously I've never looked for that hat hoop, but if it does have a hat hoop, then you want to check Amazon. Make sure you use my product link, my Amazon link down description below to navigate you to Amazon anytime you're buying anything on Amazon. So, you know, it helps the channel out a whole lot, guys. So I'm going to sign off, guys. I would like to thank you guys for joining today and I'm going to let you guys been looking and can't find one. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Sorry, you can't find one. So um, I guess they might not have it or depending on the layout that it has, like the way you insert the um, the hoops, you might be able to use another one for that. I don't know how the inserts work. I know that SE600 and the PE800 has a different way. It has a different pattern. Like you can't, the hoops on the SE 600 and the PE 800 are not interchangeable. So depending on the, the connections of that specific machine, you might be able to use one of those hat hoops for it. I don't know what, what the connections look like on that um, SE 1900, but um, yeah, guys, I'm going to leave you guys with some, with some A-Dub Productions music. So my old stuff, let me look. I'm going to play something for y'all. A dub. Ooh. I'm going to play this whole song for y'all. And yeah, I'm going to play this whole song for y'all. Hold on. All right. Y'all ready? Listen to this A dub track real fast. And I will see you guys on the next one, guys. Enjoy. Okay. Audio photos video. And I'll talk to y'all guys later. Thank you.
Yeah. 